from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. And you're taking a live look at Super Doppler 10 and a frost advisory in effect for some of us on the south side. Good evening, I'm Lori Crouch in for Alveda Yule. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Don Slater. And Don, what can we expect tonight? Well, more of what we've got already. It's cold out there, it's going to get even colder. And you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, we've had lots of frost into the area already. Well, we haven't had it uh, close to the bay and close to the coast on the south side in the northeast North Carolina. So a new frost advisory, Portsmouth, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and Kurtzaw County, North Carolina. Regional temperatures right now through the area are very, very close to what they were all night long last night. Uh, so we're going to drop even well below that. Here's what they were last night. It's 42 right now in Norfolk. 41 was our low last night. 30 in Wakefield, 30 in Franklin. That's the same as last night. So again, we're going to continue to drop on down. We'll show you how cold it's going to get, what kind of a weekend we're going to have in a few minutes. All right, thanks, Don. Waging a war against gangs. We've told you about police and parents in different cities working together to fight gang violence. Well, tonight, Suffolk children are working together to make their community safe. Ten on your side's Jason Mark shows us how. 13-year-old Kadisha Riddick dances with her friends the cha-cha slide. The smile on her face worth a thousand words. For tonight, she's far away from the troubles in her neighborhood. People getting shot up, um, shooting up other people, like Crips and Bloods don't like, stop not liking each other. The gangs, guns, drugs, and violence, just the way of life. However, kids say that needs to change. Basically, we're here to bring together the communities and stop the gang violence and trouble on the streets. They call themselves CSI, better known as the Community Service Initiative, a group of teens from different Suffolk neighborhoods working together for a common goal. We got to watch where we go and try to stay out of trouble and stuff. And uh, we got to watch the people that we hang around. Put your finger on that thing like you do at push guards. Tonight, an open house of sorts at Booker T. Washington Rec Center. A chance for kids to get off the streets. A chance for them to see there are other alternatives than joining a gang. Make something positive out of yourself and out of your time. Even if you come from a bad situation, you can always make something positive of yourself. Tonight was the first event of its kind in Suffolk. Organizers hope this event will continue to grow every single year. Live in the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. A man died after a car hit him on a busy Newport News Road. This was the scene on Jefferson Avenue. Police say the man stepped in front of the oncoming car. Charges have not yet been filed against the driver. A new report gives us a better idea of why a Navy jet accidentally dropped a dummy bomb onto a Virginia Beach house. Last month, an F-A-18 Sea Hornet was returning to NAS Oceana after a training mission in Dare County, North Carolina. The pilot thought he had released eight dummy bombs, but the eighth bomb didn't fall until the pilot lowered the landing gear. That happened as he approached Oceana. The Navy suspended use of the training bombs at Oceana until the investigation is complete. Turning now to holiday travel, if you're flying to see family or friends, expect some delays. The FAA opened up airspace for airlines to ease the wait time, but local air traffic controllers say that's only going to make matters worse. Ten on your side's Oren Lieberman has the story new tonight from Norfolk International Airport. It's the busy season for air traffic and air traffic controllers as holiday travel picks up. To ease holiday delays, airlines will be allowed to use some military airspace off the coast on Thanksgiving. But air traffic controllers say delays will still be worse than ever. It's inconvenient to those who are traveling, but it's a great safety factor. Controllers are only allowed to handle a certain number of planes, so the controllers union says more airspace doesn't matter. If this space is not available, instead of overburdening the controllers with holding patterns and stuff like that, sit on the ground, save gasoline and fuel, you know, and uh, when you can go, you can go. And with a shortage of controllers and an increase in holiday travel, the best bet passengers may have is to grab a magazine, grab a chair, and wait. The Navy worked with the FAA to open up that airspace to commercial traffic. Right now it's just a test program, but if it works, they could use it again during Christmas and New Year's to free up some uh, airspace for uh, air traffic then. Live at Norfolk International Airport, Orrin Lieberman, 10 on your side. 
Turning to breaking news now, crews are working a house fire in Hampton. You are looking live at the scene in the 2900 block of Sir Walter Lane near Sentara Hampton General Hospital. It is unclear right now how the fire started. We can tell you no one was home at the time. We will bring you an update as soon as new information comes into our newsroom.